Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience. Today is the fifth video in my Dominary Booster Box opening. If you haven't checked out the previous four videos, I've added the links to each of those videos in the description below. So far the box hasn't yielded great value. Hopefully today with the six booster packs that I'll open, I'm gonna get some value. I'd really love to get a Teferi, a Karn. Let's see if these six booster packs yield some great cards and some great value. All right, set those up to the side there. Get into cracking the first pack. Going to start it off with Caligo Skin Witch. Unwind. Excavation Elephant, Gitu Chronicler, Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, Keldon Raider, Yavimaya Sap Herd. So many iconic cards that I remember from opening this set back in the day. Sparring Construct. First uncommon is Song of Frey Elise. I love this card in my black green Sapperlings deck. Then Knight of Grace. Joy is familiar, and the first rare mythic is going to be a rare Tashar Ancestor's Apostle. Four mana, two two bird cleric with flying, and featured the historic mechanic. Historic was any artifact, legendary card, or saga that you either cast or owned on the battlefield. Okay, get my piles straightened up. Put the uncommons right there. Put the rare there. A planes. Oh, a foil? Mythic? All right. Dare Gaz reincarnated. Seven mana, seven, seven. Flying, trample, haste. If it would die, exile it with three egg counters on it. At the beginning of my upkeep, remove an egg counter. And then if it didn't have any egg counters on it, uh, my upkeep, I'd return it to the battlefield. I don't know if this has any value or not. For all the rares and mythics, I'll be putting the value right there. And then any common, uncommon token that has a value over a dollar, I'll include it there as well. I'll take it. Foil mythic, that's pretty cool. And then a cleric token. All right. Moving on. Second pack. Start off with a Homerid Explorer. Invoke the Divine, Fire Elemental, Broken Bond, Blessing of Bells and Lock, Relic Runner, Divination, Demonic Vigor, Run Amok, Cloud Reader Sphinx, or the Uncommon, or Commons, so I'll set those right there, Embolus Clutches, Shield of the Realm, and Grun the Lonely King is the legendary card. A rare Urza's Ruinous Blast. I remember playing this card in Limited in a draft environment. I had a controlling blue-white deck and I used this to control the board. So two white rares back to back an island and a goblin token. Tell me in the comments section what was the most valuable card you pulled out of a Dominary Booster Box, either back in the day or if you've opened some Dominary recently. Knight of New Benalia, Frenzied Rage, Feral Abomination, Arbor Armament, Stronghold Confessor, Artificer's Assistant, Lanawar Elves, I love Lanawar Elves. So great in ramp decks. Mesa Unicorn, Short Sword, and Shivan Fire are the commons. Uncommons, Wild Onslaught, Champion of the Flame, Rona, Disciple of Gix, and Rare Benalish Marshall. This card was pretty hot for a minute in the Dominaria standard environment. A forest and a sapperling. 
Looks like I'm taking home the white rares in this episode. I wouldn't mind getting a Shalai. I need one more of those to have a play set. Yeah. Having a little trouble opening that pack. Sergeant at Arms, Fervent Strike, Adventurous Impulse, Feral Abomination, Relic Runner, Healing Grace, Separling Migration, Avon Sentry, Academy Drake, Deathbloom Thalid are the commons. First uncommon is Board the Weatherlight, Wizard's Lightning, Valduk, Keeper of the Flame is the legendary, and I've got a mythic here. I think I know who it is. Is this Muldrotha? Yeah, Muldrotha the Gravetide. This is a great card that I've been playing in a Sultai reanimation deck. So I've got a couple of copies there. I don't know that I'd want a third copy with it being legendary. But that's awesome to pick up Mythic. A Plains and a Sapperling token. Alright, two more packs to go. Let's keep this streak of Mythics going. Get myself a Karn or a Teferi. Radiating Lightning, Krosin Druid, Caligo Skin Witch, Opt, Benelish Honor Guard, Gitu Lava Runner, Partic Wanderer, Fiery Intervention, Blessed Light, Sparring Construct, The Commons, Uncommon, start off with Urza's Tome, Diligent Excavator, Arvad the Cursed is the legendary, with a Cabal Stronghold, Rare Land, taps for Carlos, or you can pay three, tap it, and add a Swamp for each basic swamp I control. Alright. And then an Island and a Soldier Token. Okay, final pack. I think I've got a little bit of value. Nothing to write home about, but some decent cards. All right, Grow from the Ashes, Cabal Evangel, Homerid Explorer, Dub, Fervent Strike, Gaia's Protector, Fungal Infection, another great card. Really love this in the Sapperlings deck. Gift of Growth, Skittering Surveyor, Avon Sentry are the commons. Looks like I put some of my uncommons in the wrong pile. That's no good. I'll have to double check that when I sort the cards to make sure I got them in the right pile. All right. The Flame of Keld is the first uncommon. Fungal Plots. Memorial to Genius, and the final rare in this pack and video is going to be Zahid, Jinn of the Lamp, in the white-blue deck that I built in one of the drafts in Dominaria. This card won me the game. I routinely was able to get it on turn four because I had an artifact on the battlefield. It was just too quick, and a five-six flyer it's going to win the game over at least four turns, if not quicker. And then a mountain with a sapperling token. All right. To recap, rare-wise, I started off the packs just pulling almost every white rare there is. And then got a Cabal Stronghold. I did get two Mythics out of this grouping of six booster packs, Muldratha, the Gravetide, and a foil, Daragaz Reincarnated. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comment section what you think about my polls from this episode. Till next time when I'm back with another Magic the Gathering opening experience.